Today we have a very special Martin. It's so special, it's actually in the name. This is the D42 Special, and we're gonna tell you all about this beautiful guitar. Stick around. Hey, you're watching Alamo Music TV. My name is Chris McKee. And I'm Cooper Greenberg. We're here with Alamo Music in San Antonio, Texas, and you can find us online at alamomusic.com. If you are new to the channel, subscribe, turn on notifications, like our videos. If you want to support the channel, visit our Spring Store, link below for custom swag, and check out our podcast, The Fretboard Confessional, wherever you get your podcast. Maybe on our podcast we can interview Dick Boke sometime, formerly of Martin, who uh, is kind of behind this guitar. Yeah. You know, first time I heard about Dick Boke, I was in the store, and somebody came in, I think it was his daughter or a daughter-in-law or a niece or something like that, somebody that was related to him. And she was telling me about his career at Martin. It was pretty early on when I worked here. And, um, I, you know, he had retired somewhere around Fairly then. recently, yeah. Yeah, it was a few years back or something. But uh, I was like, oh, that's, that's very cool. And she was like, yeah, John Mayer played the party. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Industry All right. giant and icon, and you're like, cool. Oh, yeah, cool. <laughs> well, you know what? Chris McKee played my birthday party, all right? I did it. I heard amazing I did grace. jump out of a cake. Um, no. So let's talk about this very cool D42 special because it is a collaboration between Dick Boke, who was a longtime employee of Martin Guitars, um, and, of course, Martin, whose name is on the headstock, or on the back of it, actually, in this particular case. Back of the um, So it's a D42, but the inlay is really kind of the story here. So if you aren't familiar with Dick Boke, like Cooper wasn't once upon a time, uh, <laughs> he started at Martin in 1976, and I want to say he retired 2018, something like that, 2019. Uh, he worked there for over 40 years, and his background is actual architecture um, and bohemian hippie lifestyles. That's basically what you need to know about Same. Dick. Same. Same. So, yeah. so uh, he got hired with Martin uh, doing design, and then over the years had a strong collaboration with artists, you know, kind of do, handling that uh, relationship between mm -hmm. Martin and people like John Mayer and uh, Mark Knopfler and many, many others. Um, and yeah, he's basically uh, an industry icon. What's really cool is post retirement, he's been building guitars. Uh, still, and there's a really great uh, podcast with him uh, that he did for the Fretboard uh, Journal. So a little plug for them. And he talks a bit about uh, some of the stuff he's done, uh, like nightmare people to work with, great relationship stuff, and, and things that you've learned along the way. He did a series of guitars that were all made of spruce, instantly, or even for the back. Really? <laughs> Business Insider. <laughs> so maybe they're right, um, but not when it comes to Martin, only with Dick Boke's guitars. So anyway, so the story behind this is that when they started getting into laser engraving, it opened up a whole new world of extremely intricate designs. And I believe it was the early 2000s that Dick created this kind of floral design for the pickguard. Very intricate to be done with laser engraving on a tortoiseshell pickguard. Um, and it turned out the material wasn't suitable for it. So they yeah. really couldn't execute it. Um, and then fast forward all these years, um, this was kind of brought back um, post his retirement. And um, he and Chris Martin got with the people at uh, Pearlworks that mm -hmm. do a lot of the inlay for a lot of the guitar companies, put together the shell and whatnot, and decided, hey, let's do, see if we could do it with you know shell or mother of pearl uh, inlaid into the pickguard itself, um, which they did, and then everything kind of stems from this. So this is the original design, um, and just to let you know how gorgeous this is, I, I know my wife pretty well. I grabbed the guitar and I walked out to our sales floor just so she could see it. She's like, "Oh my gosh!" I was like, "Yeah, that's about what the, the response I thought." So you take this floral design and it becomes. A theme that's aped on the bridge going up the uh, the fretboard and then what's really cool is yeah up here on the headstock it's kind of fountain-esque yeah if you're familiar with the fountain inlays that Martin guitars have no Martin logo just Got the, the stamp on the back stamp on the back of it I am kind of a sucker so I love most Martin headstock inlays I like the CFM block but I love when they do the Fountain, the flower pot, the torch, torch yeah. because I think it's such a power move to not have Martin on the headstock. Yeah, it's like uh, we don't even need to have our name. Yeah, up there. you see this, you know, it's a Martin. Um, 
because I mean they got the original, you know, the headstock. But yeah. um yeah, it is since the D forty two it doesn't have as much pearl as D forty five, but in other ways it has more pearl than a D forty five. Definitely well so <sighs> I'm, I, y'all can murder me in the comments. I'm not the biggest D45 fan, and I tend to prefer the aesthetics of a D42, and the reason is because of the, the delicacy of the inlay. Mm -hmm. um, I also don't need it on the top, back, sides, and everywhere, but if, if that's your thing, that's totally cool. I get it. Um, but the, the big blocky mm -hmm. inlays that some people absolutely love and adore, if that's your thing, cool. I prefer a more delicate kind of artistic yeah. design. So this is really a beautiful guitar as far as the way that the inlay is executed. It is like, it, it's definitely maximalist, but in a very tasteful way. Yeah. It's not way, way, I mean, for anybody who is like, I don't like any pearl, I just want simple dots. That's not for you. No. But for somebody that wants kind of an art piece um, and loves the D42 or really any Martin Dreadnought, this is a, a special one. You know? Well, and particularly, it's in the details. I mean, the very delicate uh, leaves and the kind of twirling, uh, you know, twig-like limbs that come off of this vine style. And even when you look at this is to me, this is the harder part than the pickguard. Yeah, I might be wrong on that with the execution, but doing this in wood. It is very, very delicate. And the separation between the leaves and the stems and stuff. It's its really cool. Um, it's, and it's art. It, to me, this is really where it becomes artistic. So you're making art on art when you're playing this guitar. Making art on art. Making art on art. <laughs> I can't say anything anymore. Um, but otherwise, it's a D42. Spruce and Rosewood. Which is a great guitar. Um, yeah. And... If you are in the market, you've always wanted a 40 series. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know how limited these are. I don't think either of us do, but this is numbered with the signatures of Chris Martin IV and Dick Boak and the number of the guitar. Yeah, this name. one is 60... 61. 61. Yeah, I did look. I endeavored to discover how many they were making since it's a numbered series and could not find that information. But yeah, I don't think it's very many. Yeah. Um, and since nobody that was born after the year 61 has disposable income to buy this guitar, because that was... <laughs> Maybe it can match your... <laughs> they had the last two tickets to uh, Disneyland before it burned down. Um, yeah, if you were born in 61, we got number 61. Yeah. There you go. There you go. It's a, it's a beautiful guitar. It is a beautiful guitar. It's one of the rare ones that it's like... Yeah, you know, you know I, um, I tell you what, I, I've gotten more used to it over the years. I, I, remember, I mean, me too, you know, but... I, I don't know if I've told the story on the channel. I know I've told people the story, but there was a point where I was walking down the stairs in our store, uh, and we have this one narrow staircase that goes into the basement, and I was holding, like, two presentation series tailors. Yeah. Out of the case, I was holding them, and I, and I thought to myself, if I trip right now, that's going to be very expensive. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, over the years, I've, I've kind of become... I mean, I feel comfortable playing them. I opened this guitar yesterday because it just came in, and I showed it to two other employees here, and I was like, it sounds really good, man. You should try it out. And both of them were like, <laughs> I'm not touching that we're thing. Good. Are you kidding me? <laughs> so as of right now, Chris and I have touched this, and that's it. And uh, it's it's a D42. It's going to sound good. It sounds really great. Yeah. Lots of highs, lots of lows. Great sustain and overtones. Check it out.
So there you have it. It's a beautiful sounding and beautiful looking guitar, limited, and uh, both commemorating just the work that they can do uh, at Martin, and also the design of a very long time and beloved employee and industrial you know, or industry giant, uh, Dick Boak. So um, yeah, it's a really fantastic guitar, and um, it's not an inexpensive one. We kind of hit on that at the beginning. You want to share with everybody in the class how much it costs, Cooper? Um, I think this one's twelve hundred dollars. At a zero. Oh yeah, this one's twelve thousand one hundred ninety nine dollars as of right now. I do wonder what pushed it over the twelve thousand dollar mark to add the one ninety nine. The one ninety nine. The case. It was the stamp on the back of the headstock. There you go. One ninety nine on the custom shop sheet stamp. So. so it's expensive. Mm -hmm. It is, um, if this is, okay, we had Martin prototypes a while back. Mm -hmm. We had a lot of them. They all sold pretty fast, and the ones that sold the quickest were the ones that had numbers in them and mm -hmm. signatures in them and very special inlays, and we still have calls asking, do you guys have any more of the prototypes? We do not. However, this is something in the same kind of vein of if you're a Martin collector, if you are a rare guitar collector, if you like beautiful things, um, and it means something to you to have something that was signed and numbered and is limited in nature and an absolute showpiece, this is uh, one to add to the wish list. Hey, sure. that's really cool is you know that the this one in this video is this one because they're numbered, mm -hmm. you know, and so you get this guitar and it's in your collection and you have this video forever to commemorate this very special instrument. How cool is yeah, that? Yeah, that's very cool. You play this on a loop in a little one of those picture frames that you hang up next to the guitar in your dental office. And um, the other thing on this one is uh, I don't. <laughs> I don't assume we will get more. All of, these. of our good customers and our dentists are like, there I'm, we I go. I feel seen. Yeah, I feel seen right now. That's good for me. <laughs> Um, yeah, I anticipate the comments on this one saying, beautiful guitar, can y'all please get back to guitars that are generally affordable for regular people <laughs> like Chris and I? Yes, we will. But when you get something as special and as cool and as rare and as striking as this, of course we got to show it to you. Yep. So this is the right thing for somebody. There's some great Martins out there that will give you you know, all kinds of sounds and looks, and they're all gonna be featured here. But this is the D42 Specials day to shine, all right? Here's the real test. We're gonna put this video out. Is this here by the time we put this video out? Or is it already gone? Now that will be something to be seen, so. To check the results of that test, um, Good, right. click the link below directly to this guitar, and if it says sold out, it's gone. But you can buy this on our website, you can call us, you can come to the store and try it. We'll send you up close photos of all the intricate leaves and uh, we'll get it in your hands if that is the one for you. If you're new to our channel and you like guitars and other cool stuff, make sure that you subscribe, you turn on notifications, like our videos. If you own a dental practice and you wanna buy a guitar, we will uh, advertise for your dental practice in our videos as well. Just reach out and let us know. As always, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.